Thank you, Mike. Setting a diet and fitness resolution and sticking to it is a huge challenge for many, but fitness expert and the creator of the Get Ripped Workouts, Jerry Love, says knowing what stage you are starting from is important and can help with the goal of getting and staying in shape long term. Welcome. It's great to see you, Jerry. Nice happy, to New see you Year. happy New Year. Uh, so I'm happy to be chatting with you. I know a lot of working out is mental and those decisions, the decision making, but you say you should start by understanding the sure. stages of change. Yeah, that's really important, understanding why uh, we're getting into shape. So there's a there's a thing that called it's called the theoretical model mm -hmm. and so what it does it it's a tool that we can use to gauge where people are as far as their readiness and willingness to make a change towards a healthy lifestyle mm -hmm. as well it helps us as trainers to develop strategies to help people progress on to the next stage of change okay so what are these stages and what do we need to know well here is Santa Claus yeah. this is the uh, pre contemplative stage <laughs> And usually it takes maybe a year for people to finally make a change. This is a very difficult stage because I'll have clients, I'll say, can you help my mom get into shape? Mm -hmm. She needs to lose weight. But they might not be ready to make a change. They're unaware there is a problem. Um, in fact, all the negatives weigh out the positives. Mm -hmm. So the best strategies that, that I re recommend my clients to do is maybe they haven't seen a doctor for a while, get a checkup, just do a little bit of research, and that'll help. Um, move them towards the next stage of change. Okay, so thinking about it, the pre-contemplation, that looks like my December. <laughs> Pretty much on the couch. Good for you. All right, what's next? This is the contemplation stage. Uh, people are going to make a change within the next six months. Mm -hmm. So they've gone to the doctor. The doctor says, look, you need to lose weight. You're at risk of cardiovascular disease. This can take up to six months to make that change. So basically, they've done their research. Mm -hmm. However, the, the pro this is the pro procrastination stage. So even though they know they need to make a change, they might say, well, I'm too busy to lose weight. Um, I don't have enough time. So one of the strategies we do is we might say, well, look, Mary, there's 168 hours in a week. You only need three Three hours to get yourself into shape. Right. So it's really about problem solving. When we do our boot camps, we kind of really want people to understand why they are getting themselves into shape in case of a relapse. So then we go back to their motivation. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay, let's go to the next stage, the preparation stage. This is where a lot of people are in December. They they go, okay, I'm going to indulge in December. I'm going to have my cake and eat it too. Um, they're going to put a plan into place so they're going to say well in New Year's I'm going to join a gym I'm going to hire a personal trainer um, so they're ready to make that change and you see people doing it when you know they, they're at a dinner gathering they say well I've hired a trainer I'm going to start in January that is really great to see so that's when they're at that preparation stage right and saying those things out loud declaring them and, and being accountable to other people is absolutely really okay this action. is this is the action stage we see a lot of New Year's resolutions in the gym. Gym is crowded for the yep. first uh, 90 days. This is the most rewarding stage. They're actually making their goals. Um, they're living the goals, basically. This can last anywhere from three to six months. Mm -hmm. This is also where they get the most gains. They can lose 30 pounds in three months. However, it is the most unstable stage okay. because this is where usually a plateau comes in or they become bored with exercises. They come up, they come up with excuses on why they need to stop. Right. So we encourage people to be prepared of relapses because realistically, it's very impossible to stay on track you know, 100% of the time. Right, to stay on track and to be seeing those results constantly and the dramatic results that you get in the first bit that you start exercising, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so be aware that the plateaus exist and the, yeah, and, the failures. And, well, that's right, and then to come up with a plan. So if you failed before, why was the reason you failed before and what is the plan of action so that it doesn't happen again? Mm -hmm. And I think just get right back on the horse. You know, a failure isn't the end. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Okay, maintenance stage. This is where you see um, a lot of, we call them regulars in the gym. They've been working out for years. Um, usually, you know, it's past six months up to five years. So people in the gym are regular. Uh, they're exercising, you know, three to four, five times per week. Mm -hmm. um, they've, they've accepted this as a lifestyle change. Mm -hmm. I can tell you, though, no matter what stage of change you're at, sometimes it goes cyclical right so it's just again I can't stress the importance of why are you exercising coming up with strategies to prevent um, well to accept that there will be relapses but how are you going to overcome them right and you're back on stage one and Santa on the couch next December right? exactly uh, thank you so much Jerry thank of course, you people can find you at fitness plus the get rip programs are spectacular and they do get results too so uh, really great to see you nice happy to see new you year and all the best to your family as well thank you